In the heart of Monroe County, the city of Toma rises up among the surrounding cranberry bogs. Located at the intersection of I-90 and I-94, this community is at a crossroads of opportunity. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Rooted between the hills of the Driftless and the sandy beds of an ancient glacial lake, the city of Toma has been a growing community since 1883. Toma is located halfway between Madison and Eau Claire in western Wisconsin. It's perhaps most famous for being smack dab in the middle of cranberry country. But it's Toma's downtown revitalization that has really breathed new life into the city. We developed a comprehensive plan for our community and then went from there and took it a step further to do a downtown master plan. That's provided some funding resources available to businesses that either want to do facade improvements or want to start their business in Toma. These changes have brought an abundance of new and fresh activities and events to keep the downtown busy all year round. We found one of the ways we can do that is through this concert series that we're putting on this year and that's really went off in a dynamic way and it brought a lot of foot traffic into our downtown. Toma is an extremely generous, fun-loving community. We like to have a good time and that good time is being had in our downtown. Running every Thursday night for six weeks throughout the summer is Downtown Thursday Nights, a local concert series featuring a variety of artists, local food vendors, and activities for any age to enjoy. It's really about community engagement. It's just bringing families together. People are meeting new friends. They're gathering with old friends. They're bringing their kids down and having family nights, date nights. Just something great for everyone in the community. We've been averaging anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 people probably every night. The city's reaction to this event has been amazing. We've seen a lot of people even come out and say, you know, Toma's alive. Toma's summer of music culminates in late August at Music on Milwaukee. I caught up with Jeff Hermans, lead singer and guitarist of the Madison-based band Super Tuesday, headlining this year's event. So when you play at local communities like this and you know that there's kids in the crowd, yep. there's maybe aspiring musicians, how do you feel about playing in front of those types oh of people? Gosh. I watch some of the kids on stage and I see some where I'm like, that kid knows what this is all about and they're gonna they're gonna have some music in their life. It gives you deeper meaning as you play, that you're not just entertaining, but you're inspiring future artists. I love local community festivals like this because I grew up in a small town in Wisconsin, and this gives an opportunity for the town to kind of come together for events like this. So what kind of music do you play? What do you what are you gonna bring to the community here in Toma tonight? We can bring something for the the new festival goer up front all the way to the seasoned, seasoned veteran in the back and we love to bring a lot of energy to the show and then feed off of the people bringing that back to us. If you want to get out of the house and experience a great night of music, Music on Milwaukee here in Toma is an awesome spot to be. Plan your adventures in every corner of our state by watching Discover Wisconsin anytime, anywhere. Coming up, I sample, savor, and speak with the locals in Toma. Stay with us. Welcome back to downtown Toma. Known widely for its long history with the cranberry crop, Toma's agriculture scene is thriving. The weekly farmer's market held right downtown in Gillette Park brings a little bit of country to the city and gives people the opportunity to learn about where their food comes from. If you find yourself in the Toma area on a Wednesday or a Saturday, the local farmer's market is a great place to be. I had a great conversation with Grant, who's been working hard for 20 years to bring food here to the people visiting Toma. What are you selling here today? We're selling sweet corn, watermelons, Usually we have tomatoes, sometimes we have cantaloupe. Do you have a lot of local repeat customers that expect you to be at this farmer's market every Saturday? Yeah, we have 
quite a large group of repeat customers. It's gotten a lot bigger, which is a good thing because the more vendors you have, the more people it brings out. So would you say the farmer's market helps bring the community together? Kind of a big social event sometimes. For sure. It gets people out of their house and down here among out in the community. And throughout the summer, Gillette Park is also the spot for Americana Music in the Park, a monthly festival that celebrates bands and singers from Wisconsin and beyond. I've been a lifelong resident. I grew up here. I think it's a great place for community to gather. It's just a chance for everybody to start and share ideas, enjoy good music, have fun with the games. There's vendors. It's a great place. We've been coming to Music in the Park since it started. We come to the concert because we like the, the camaraderie, see the community come together. Live music is a lot better than listening to it on the radio, you know, and if you look in our history, the music has always been there. Find more information about other events like these around Wisconsin at discoverwisconsin.com. Coming up, Jake dives into Toma's art and food scene. Discover Wisconsin is back, diving into the art scene in downtown Toma. The art scene in Toma is, is just evolving into something that's really incredible. I'm born and raised in Toma, came back after college. The art came into play probably about five years ago. I was diagnosed with breast cancer and just a form of release and um, therapeutic energy for me was just painting for myself. The music started coming out as well, and that's where this was born. It, it just transpired into music-inspired art. I like painting big, and the other part of my painting is I don't use brushes. The most unique thing I've used is someone's loved one's shirt. I really want to know the inspiration behind the piece for the person I'm creating it for. It's not always joyful. It's not always happy. A lot of the time while I'm creating, a lot of emotion comes through me empathically. Um, a lot of my DNA and my tears are in, in the work because it, it just flows through me. This is the perfect place for this type of art or any art. The whole energy of this whole building and everyone that works here is exactly where I want to be. There are so many, many talented musicians, singers, artists in this community that uh, I hope people realize that and, and can enjoy it as much as I do. Toma's local artists are on display in the numerous galleries and shops throughout downtown. We have uh, about 34 different local artists from Wisconsin. Everything from local artists that do artwork to books, um, local authors, and then people that make handcrafted items. It's a great place for people to come and shop, you know, with new restaurants and local stores opening. There's a good variety. We have a room in the back and we've called the concept Create. So it's a place where people can come in and either do a project on their own or they can attend one of our workshops and learn how to do chalk painting or paint pouring. Well, it's rewarding to be a local artist and people identify your, your work and, uh, and yeah, it means a lot. I was called to do it for some reason. The book was basically a journey I took on a farm in the, this area and then um, went to Vietnam at 19 years old, lost a leg, came back severely disabled. And then I realized that after all these years, uh, I needed to write this down and put it down where we can pass it on to the uh, next generation. So it's my way to give back. Toma was, it always had been a small town, rural farm country, you know, but it's grown like any city. The downtown area is just starting to come back. Now I see some new buildings going up, some new businesses coming in. It's starting to grow within the city. 
And with another local artisan market on the corner, within walking distance, visitors can spend a day browsing through pottery, paintings, and other local fare, or getting in touch with their own creative sides at a workshop or art class. If you're in the mood, you don't have to go very far for a glass of wine after a day of shopping. Toma's newest wine bar is located in the same building as on the corner. When you first walk in, you just, you feel at home here at Vino Anjo in Toma. So much character and what they've really done to this place from, from the bare bones up. And talking to Jolene, she told me about how much work and effort and sweat they put into creating this place. Because the city of Toma is growing, we really felt it was important to have something that's unlike everything else that we have in the town here. Wanted to create something intimate, being able to almost sort of walk into somebody's living room and be able to meet with your friends here and talk and, and just uh, have some fellowship. And so that's sort of where this was born and how it ended up coming to be what it is today. I have to say, you know, walking in here, that's sort of what I felt right away. It's just kind of a comfort feeling. You know, you feel real Good. at ease, you know, hey, I'm kind of at home. You know, let's grab a glass of wine and just kick back and talk to friends. That's kind of the mentality of it? Absolutely. People come here and meet um, who are complete strangers. <laughs> We've had a couple of our regulars have become friends outside of this place on a regular basis, which was very exciting for me. How do you choose your wines? We did some research on what Toma likes, and then we tried to choose a palette that went from, you know, very sweet, common, all the way up to things that people had never heard of before. So we're able to give the visitors, the residents, and anybody new that's moving into the area uh, a chance to be able to have a variety of things. I found a heartbeat in this community that just has so much going on and so much growth happening. Um, and every time we have a new business or new people come in, they just completely come out and support and want to be a part of it as well. Congrats, really. Thank you Very so much. Cool. I you appreciate bet. Thank it. you, Jillian. Good Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see our team in action from behind the camera? Follow Discover Wisconsin on Instagram for photos and more. Up next. I had a little sample of the brandy old fashioned shake. That is ridiculous. Yeah. It's, I mean, in, in a good way. Yes. It's awesome. Stay with us. We're back tasting and toasting here in Toma. No city is complete without a few hot spots for food, and luckily, downtown Toma has a few places that will satisfy any craving. First of all, Chad, just kind of tell me about the break room. Why did you decide to, you know, open it up here and, and become an owner here? Well, we were looking for bars all over Wisconsin and searched quite a few different cities. The realtor said that she had one more idea, so we came over and she showed us this place, and really fell in love with it. What would you tell people that makes you unique? You know, if, if people have not been in here before and you were just kind of trying to explain to people, hey, you know, you gotta check us out, here's why. Obviously our craft beer is beyond huge. We love the craft beer. We got like 150 different kinds here, every style you can imagine. You get everyone from, you know, the young college kids to the, <laughs> to the older retired couple that will come in and look at our beer menu and and find some fun new things. A lot of times people want to go into a restaurant, they want to sit down and eat. It's Wisconsin, beer and burgers, how can you go wrong? So we got quite a few different ones, your normal cheeseburger, but then we get a lot of different kinds. We have a Southwestern burger, we got a Reuben burger. Yeah, good variety. Has it been nice to sort of get ingrained with the Toma community as well? And yeah, I mean, Toma is amazing and the people are amazing. We've uh, been fortunate enough to do a lot of different fundraisers and stuff here. And we've had what we call craft socials where we team up with a, a craft brewer. They're a lot like a tap takeover only. We do silent auctions and raffles and stuff and raise a bunch of money for a nonprofit organization. Yeah, stuff like that just, I would imagine, just gets you more ingrained in the community when you take part in those events, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. It's just it's just so great to see everyone, all the friendly faces, they're all working together. Everyone has, you know, the same idea at the end of the day. They just want this town to be great. 
For fine dining and really an incredible setting, hey, look no further than Murray's on Main. So why did you decide to, you know, do this? Murray's on Main and, you know, develop this area and this restaurant. It's actually in homage to my mom. If you take the first letter of each word, it, it spells out the word mom. We kind of wanted a, a play on that, you know, so they have the, you know, if you need me, I'll be at mom's. Yeah. When you first walk in here, you're, instantly you see, boy, this place is beautiful, but yet you've got, uh, you know, certain things that certainly draw you back to the past. I'm that guy that looks at the, at the old building that might be boarded up and it's a cinder block building and I think about when it was, when it was thriving. It was very important to us to pay homage to what led to this building being built. For years and years there was the iconic teepee sign that hung right, kind of extended out over towards Main Street and it, it, it was impossible to miss uh, just because of the design of it. And I give so much credit uh, to the Gurky family who actually built this building that they, uh, in, in taking down the old building, they kept that, they kept that sign. And we had, um, we had the neon replaced and, and it now hangs uh, along with the, the maiden uh, that, that sat and stirred the pot for years and years and years, you know, o overlooking Superior Avenue. Everything that you see in here is because of myself wanting to better the downtown area. Downtowns tend to uh, fade sometimes because bigger things uh, are built on the, on, the, on the outskirts of town. And we're hoping that this really becomes a revitalization or a kind of a, a catalyst to revitalizing the, the downtown area. What about the menu itself? We, we want to go with some classics, you know, we have BLTs and we have Reuben sandwiches, but I think you'll find that we put a little different twist uh, on the way that, you know, that we make them. And a lot of this has been not only the, our, our customers coming in and recommending, you know, hey, I like this or I like that, but it's been the staff that in the back go, what if, you know, what if we did this or what if we did that? I am so fortunate that I have such great minds that want to uh, improve the restaurant continually. So some of the best ideas come, right? Yes. So what if? What, what, what are we looking at here? Uh, what we are looking at right here, this is, uh, as far as we know, we're the only ones in the state of Wisconsin. This is a um, brandy old-fashioned milkshake. We combine two of the best things about Wisconsin, ice cream and brandy old-fashioned. This is the Brandy Alexander. Uh, we have a unique machine that creates these drinks for us. Some brilliant minds uh, working here that you know have come up with some of these items. Now that you brought it up, I gotta get back to my tasty treat here. That was very good. Yes, <laughs> <Obviously>. yes. That's <laughs> it's a little too good. Yeah. <laughs> with businesses like these adding a little flair to downtown, Toma is taking off. So let's sum up our trip to Toma. We've learned the people here are amazing, the festivals are a blast, the art and music scene, terrific, and a brandy old-fashioned milkshake is always a good idea. No matter where you are in Toma, you'll find yourself at the intersection of happy and home. Stream Discover Wisconsin anywhere, anytime. Continue the adventure on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, Smart TV, Chromecast, and discoverwisconsin.com.